Dear Diary. Dear Diary. It was a great Sunday today. It was a miserable Sunday today. For starters, I had a great breakfast. I had this delicious blueberry muffin and the last drops of orange juice. What luck! I went downstairs for my lovely breakfast of blueberry muffins, but it turns out somebody took the last blueberry muffin, and I specifically put a note on there saying it was mine. I called it! So, I was talking to Sinead, and she openly admitted that she liked Todd. Shalom bothered me for 15 minutes until she finally pried out of my mouth that I liked Todd. Of course, as the big sister, I had to encourage her to tell him that she liked him, but Sinead was too shy. So then I did what any big sister would do. I tried to explain to her that I was playing hard to get, but no, she took my phone, locked herself in her room, and she texted him, pretending it was me. And to make matters worse, she said the most horrible thing. She said, I love you. What kind of person just texts someone out of the blue? I love you. This is, the, what, what, the, what does a kid even? <sighs> I love acting like Cupid. He blocked me on all social media. Later on, we went to go shopping at Walmart to get some more orange juice and blueberry muffins. Later, I was forced to shop at Shalom to get more blueberry muffins and orange juice. But neither of us wanted to go inside, and so we did what any adult would do. We played rock, paper, scissors, and I won! I know she cheated at rock, paper, scissors. I saw her. She switched that rock to scissors real fast. I know. I had to make sure the doors are locked. You never know who's lurking around your car. I took five minutes inside. I came back out. It started to rain immediately, and my hair got wet. It was soaking wet. And my blueberry muffins, too. Honestly, like, this day couldn't get any worse. Oh, but it did. It actually did. Because when I got to the car, it was locked. And I was banging on that door, waiting for Shalom to open the door, and she didn't hear me. And I peek inside, and she's sleeping. Like, since I can't even. And she's sleeping, and it doesn't get. And I'm just crying in the rain. And I just can't. Oh, I can't. Oh, what a world. What a world. I took a good nap in the car. It was really soothing and comforting. And there was also a lot of thunder outside. Yeah, it was really loud. So finally, after she finally let me in, after she woke up, the car broke down on our way back home. Like, honestly. And then the most tragic thing happened. The car broke down. I mean, like, what? Like, I, I honestly, I, I just can't. Like, why would the, the, the car, like, the car, it, like, we, we filled up with gas and it was just, it was brand new and ugh, I can't. I just can't. I'm sorry, diary. I'm back. I'm sorry. Anyways, yeah, so the car broke down and so me, oh, sorry, diary. It was upside down. So anyways, the car broke down. So me, being the brave one, I decided to go and get help. Yeah. So Shalom went to go call a tow truck and I don't know what happened to her. I haven't seen her since. Maybe she went to go find help. I don't know. But she didn't show up for hours, so I had to push the car seven miles to the nearest mechanic and then get a ride home from an Uber, a smelly, smelly Uber, all by myself. So instead of calling a tower, I call my friend Chester, because I know Chester is really good at cars. So he was just about to help, but then he had to go to the movies with his friends. And so I didn't want him to break up his friendship, so I decided to go with him. We went to go see Mission Impossible. It was so fun. Todd was there too. He asked me out, we're going bowling this Friday. So after trudging to my room, I went on Snapchat to relax. And I went to my friend Chloe's Snapchat. And I saw Todd there. But then I saw Shalom in the background, eating popcorn with Todd. Dear Diary, it was a great day. Dear Diary, I'll be right back. Shalom! Introducing the brand new Onyx Kids book. In this book series, Shiloh and his friends have started middle school and what starts out as an uneventful day quickly spirals into the first of many mysteries and adventures to come. In book two, they try to crack the case of the class pet fraud. To get the book, go to Amazon.com, search Onyx Kids School Days, and that's it. Onyx Kids School Days. It's as easy as one, two, three. Here's a quick look inside. You can get it at Amazon.com and other select stores. Don't forget to check out onyxkids.com for all things Onyx Kids. We got videos, books, merch, and more.